Thank you, Mayor Shivani. As Mayor Shivani has said, next November, Ted will be holding a long overdue welcome home ceremony. We want to recognize and celebrate the Vietnam veterans and provide a homecoming that many of us never received. We spent our time in Vietnam wishing we were home. Whether we were on your job kept down the base, you were a grunt in the field, you are on the brown water, or you were in the skies, we all were in combat. All we want most time was just to be home. When we got here, we were treated so poorly. It was often safer to hide our service. When I came home, they told us not to wear our uniforms. <clears throat> we went on. We got back to the States. They told us to carry civilian clothes to change into at the airport, which we did. It didn't bother us then. We were happy to be home. We were outcast, expected by a lot of people in America to want to apologize for our serving our country. We certainly weren't heroes and didn't expect to be treated as such. A simple thank you would have been welcomed. This past Saturday in the Veterans Day Parade here in Fayetteville, a vet Vietnam veteran I was marching with made a comment. That was the first time he had ever been thanked for being a Vietnam vet. No matter the politics, Vietnam veterans do not deserve to be ignored or treated with disrespect. Remember those of my generation of Americans who never came back, and worse, those who have never been born. As a Vietnam vet, I would like to invite all Vietnam veterans, not just, North, not just from North Carolina, but from across America, to join us next year in our celebration. To all veterans, especially Vietnam veterans, thank you for welcome home. Good morning.